the 2015 forest fires, which were um, covered globally by the media, what sort of impact did they have on Indonesia and um, your response to environmental right. issues? Right. Obviously, those forest fires, which were also exacerbated by the once every 15 year uh, El Nino climate phenomenon, uh, were absolutely devastating. Right. <clears throat> they blanketed uh, large parts of Southeast Asia in smoke and haze. And uh, by far the biggest victim of that forest fire were Indonesians themselves, you know, us ourselves. Um, but uh, I think the good things that came out of it was a really genuine and fundamental commitment uh, from President Jokowi's government. Uh, first, he immediately created the uh, Peatland Restoration Agency, uh, which in the last two years has made tremendous progress in reflooding uh, the peatlands, uh, you know, the wetlands, uh, with with water to to <coughs> make them more resistant to to drought uh, and to fire. Uh, and then uh, last year, he startled everyone. Uh, by spontaneously declaring a moratorium on further uh, expansion of our palm oil plantations. Right? Uh, palm oil is by far our number one uh, non-oil, non-gas export, so it's a very important industry. Uh, but I think there's a lot of room for improvement to raise productivity uh, and invest in higher yields without having to cut down forests or uh, you know, drain uh, precious wetlands. How effective has uh, President Jokowi's mandate been so far in your estimation? Creating a system where the states can compete for capital, for innovation, uh, is, is something that I strongly believe in. Uh, now, on the other hand, the central government, uh, uh, our administration, uh, has to create a system, right, a, uh, a set of conditions uh, where people understand what's valuable and what's not, so that people know what to compete for, right? Uh, the district governments, the city governments have to understand uh, what the world wants, right? What is prized by tourists, by consumers, by investors, so that people can compete towards those goals. Uh, and that's what, uh, what I think uh, central government re leadership is about. Another recent move by President Jokowi was to announce the agrarian reform, um, which would um, completely change the way land is managed in Indonesia, which is an important issue. Can you talk yes. a bit about the impact you hope that will have from an environmental and social perspective? Absolutely. It's very important that the benefits of economic development are shared fairly, right? <clears throat> and uh, uh, I think uh, we cannot rely simply on so-called trickle-down economics, right? You do have to proactively get down to it, right? You have to take proactive measures to ensure that all strata of society uh, get the health care, the education, the infrastructure uh, that creates equality of opportunity, right? It actually gives millions of people legal title to their land and that is land that in many cases they've occupied for many years or even decades, but have had unclear title towards, right? Uh, that means that they cannot use their land as collateral, right? To pledge to a bank loan or to get uh, financing for their business. Uh, but, you know, uh, in, the, in terms of the sustainable development, I think uh, one hope for effect is that once people have this certificate, they feel a stronger sense of ownership, right? Uh, a stronger sense of uh, uh, of, of, of precious property uh, over the land that they're occupying, right? So there's kind of a more direct commercial and over time, hopefully emotional connection between the land they're occupying and, uh, and, and what they do with it. Do you expect much pushback from the large agroforestry companies in Indonesia? Obviously they've, uh, they've dominated right. the landscape of Indonesia for so long and the agrarian form is about taking some of that control away from them, isn't it? Actually, it's not. Um, you know, it's, it's not about redistribution uh, as such, right? It's not taking from the rich and giving to the poor or taking from the big companies and giving to the smallholders. It's actually taking a lot of lands which are already occupied by smallholders and certifying uh, legal title uh, to those lands. Um, 
In fact, uh, I would argue that there's tremendous opportunity for the big companies to assist, right? Uh, because one thing which the president wants is for a kind of mentorship system, right? Uh, we're very concerned to make sure that once the certificates have been handed out, that they're not simply sold off, you know, for a song or rented out for polluting uh, purposes or what have you. Uh, so I think uh, the certification process is only one step, uh, creating kind of a proper mentorship system for city governments, district governments, provincial governments, for big corporates to all embrace each other so that people are guided towards using their land uh, for productive and sustainable purposes.